It says it's going live. It says, oh, it says you're live. It says you're, you're live. live. Hi. Hi. Hi, we're live according to the computer screen. <laughs> it's four o'clock. Got to remember how to do this. It's been a while. It has been. I did, yeah, yeah. It's been six months, hasn't it? September 17th. September 17th. So whatever September. Whatever that is till now. December. For anyone who's good at maths, March. can you quickly yeah. work that out? <laughs> September 17th until? Like six and a half months. Oh, about that. Yeah. How many days is that? All right. So welcome. Okay. 4 p.m. Now, hopefully, oh, I don't know if we've got anybody in the chat yet. So I'm just going to say. Hi. Uh, let see if the chat's working. Hey, guys. If anyone's in there, can you give us a thumbs up? Yes, please. Give us a thumbs up. It has been a while, so you've probably all forgotten about us. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We're not doing... oh, oh, wait. No. oh, we got a few. Hang on. Yep. Here we go. Hey, g'day. Rianne, Bush Edge. Hey. Prophetic, G, uh, prophetic uh, Dreams. Kerry. How, how are we? They're, they're, really, they're like flowing through. They're flowing in there. Oh, there's that, probably a bit of a delay. That, that side of the screen. Oh, true. There yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hi guys, thanks hey, for joining us. And welcome. I'm Corey. I'm Amanda. Hopefully, um, I don't know if you guys remember. Like, watch it. Remember. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are just coming across this or you're watching it because you already watch us. I know some of you guys know us, but um, yeah, so Amanda Corey, Rock Part of Group Homestead. Yep. So it's been a while since we've done a, a live a a recap, recap or a live rock pole recap. Yeah. yeah. So I may be a little rusty and nervous. Probably more, nervous. probably more rusty, I'd it's say. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't really get nervous. That's fine because we're talking to friends. That's right. They're all out there, you know. And we've been, so, uh, we've been. Thank you, Vanessa. Looking well. Yes, I, I could have shaved, but I must admit I have been slack the last seven weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So, so that's yeah one of the reasons why we've been kind of. Oh, this is out a, of the rock pole recap surgery update edition. <laughs> Volume one. So it's seven weeks tomorrow. Yes, Monday. Yep. Seven the, weeks tomorrow. Since uh, the op. So and yep. things are going really well, and yeah. we're we're stoked about it. Yeah. Uh, obviously, just recently, the other week, we posted the pre-surgery video that Corey recorded, kind of giving you guys an overview. Mm. Uh, now we're seven weeks post-op, and yeah, we're stoked with how well it's going. Corey has been a very well-behaved patient. Of course. Um, of and course. I've done my best to look after oh, him. Apart but... from when I took that chainsaw apart <laughs> on her side of the bed. That didn't go down well. No, he's been, <laughs> he's been behaving and maybe going a little bit stir-crazy, not being able to do stuff. You guys know that Corey likes to yeah. have his little projects and do all his stuff. Um, oh, that is the hardest part, yeah. having like such a, you know, active and able brain and upper three quarters of the body's like ready to go and i've got this little leg foot thing that's just like holding me back it's like oh come on man you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep up with the team yeah so but the, it's not happening yeah i mean the the better he gets the more frustrating frustrating yeah. it's but yeah. told him it's like it's the mental game now yeah. um, and a quick little uh, behind the scenes recap in case you don't know 20 years ago i had a motorbike crash just being dumb um, suffered with my foot probably the last 10 years with uh, uh, osteoarthritis set into one of the joints in there, in the talus tibia joint. So we made a call to have surgery to try and fix it because that was the best recommendation because it was only going to get worse with time. And the time had come, and that was seven weeks ago that I went under the knife. And he put a few screws and plates and cut some bone out and read like, you know, just together. Yeah. yeah. So and, um, and here I am. Yeah. So just last Wednesday, uh, Corey went in for his six-week appointment, like checkup. They did an X-ray. The surgeon was all happy with how it's all still aligned, um, and he got upgraded from cast to boot. Oh yeah, to the moon boot. Um, I won't make you put your foot up and show show everyone. I brought the other one in. I actually got two. I've got an indoor boot and an outdoor boot because I don't want to. I've got, oh, got two. One's a lot more comfortable than the other one. So I wear the comfy one inside, like, all day. But if I go outside, I put the the, the crap one on. 
and so, uh, so and you and you've also been permitted to go partial weight bearing. Yes. So there has been so a few good. more out, outdoor jaunts, and he like you know gets mm. around the house, practices like moving and stuff. Yeah. So we're hoping in another six weeks uh, he'll transition into full weight bearing. Um, but that doesn't include being able to carry stuff. So no. um, that's no. when all the physio will start to rebuild, yeah. you know, strength and walking around with a different gait. Uh, we'll be looking at different Do shoe we have to options. Fix a gate? <laughs> no, we, you don't have to fix a gate. <laughs> okay. Um, Not yet. <laughs> and yeah, so it, it'll be a while before Corey's out doing some serious projects. Yep. So, and we're lucky enough that one of our viewers, viewers, subscribers, yep. viewers, um, is an expert in the uh, foot trauma area. Yes. Um, and he has been in contact with us and given us some helpful advice. Yeah, and Daniel, is it? Yep. Yeah, shout out to you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. And, uh, yeah, so I've been chatting with him about different, you know, things and stuff to do with the foot, so it's all good. Yeah. And actually, we've had some, um, you know, really great messages of support, you oh, know, definitely. people checking in, and yeah. it's a testament to, you know, the community that has, yeah. you know, that we've all got here on YouTube and, um, yeah. It's really fantastic. Mm. It's, Next it's, thing, they'll be like having flags with my face on it, <laughs> and they'll be like going down the street. <laughs> we, need to, we need to get you on a shirt saying, so, so, the plan. <laughs> so Step what, one. So what's the plan? <laughs> that would work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, beautiful life. Leslie. Oh, hi, Leslie. Um, hey, Darren. <laughs> oh, and I... Uh, a uh, all-terrain wheelchair. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I would. If I could get out to the shed, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the shed's a bit full at the moment. We, uh, Before I went in, we actually loaded everything we own pretty much that's outside. We put it in the shed because we weren't too sure about the weather and don't want to be uh, trying to load mowers and all this other stuff when it's pelting yeah. down rain and I'm just sitting inside yelling orders. You know that. that and I'm well. just ignoring them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah, the shed's pretty much, anyway. pretty much chock a block. Hi, Darren. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you doing good, Corey. Like are, I miss are you it. saying I get distracted, right? <laughs> much? Maybe you should. Corey, oh, there's a spider. Yeah. <laughs> Flashing light. So, we just want to welcome, um, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the Rock Pile channel. Yes. And the Rock Pile kind of way of life and how we do stuff and what we get up to yeah. and all that. We, um, our last recap was, you know, six months, two yep. weeks ago, which I see that I haven't seen anyone work out how many days that is yet, but we'll get there. Um, Someone's going to have a calculator. I know, they're going to be working on it right now, I bet you. So we've gained a few subs since then. Yeah, and we've been we've been really neglectful of you guys, but you've, like, you've still shown you've, you've up and supported there, us. You know? Thank you. So in the past, uh, all right, so September 17, we had uh, – 1,771 subscribers. Yep. Um, and today, oh, I didn't write it down, but it was 2,820-something. Oh, no, 80. 2,880-something. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Anyway. 80, 83, I think. No, no tw the 20 around 20 is okay. I bet. I oh, know. you're right. Two, <laughs> 2,823. Can someone check and tell me I'm right? That's right. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Um, two, two, eight, two, three. So that's, I, I worked it out to 1,043 more people in the past six months. So welcome. Thank, thank, you. thank you. That's awesome. Um, and I think this is really a sign that, like, there's so many more Australian channels, like, mm. connecting, right? Chicken. The chickens are Sorry. the chickens are fine. They're just the chicken, Rachel. Was a chicken, not a spy. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, randy chickens. Yeah, the roosters get, just get out of control sometimes. Anyway, I won't talk about that. Okay, so what was I saying? Uh, how the roosters get out of control? No, before that. Oh. Oh yeah. Aussie Homestead channels. That's right. So many more, and I am still, guys. I am still coming across channels that have been around for a couple of years 
and I've Never only just of. found them. Yeah. And I just don't know how many more different ways I can search. We started the Australian Homesteaders Facebook group to try to connect more of us. Um, so, look, if if you're ever watching one of our videos and you know of a great channel, just drop it in our comments. Just say, hey, have you have you seen, you know, have check, you seen this the, channel? Check these guys out, you know, and we'll, we'll be there. Yeah. Like uh, someone dropped in a comment the other day, you know, have you guys seen uh, running them up, running them up off grid with Nick and Rob? Because uh, I've got a very similar story for uh, as us, like giving up their jobs and moving to like yep. an off grid pro property. And yep, we're all over them definitely. We just subscribe to them for ages. Yep. Um, but yeah, if you think that you, if you watch someone you think we would really vibe with and, with and we would really like, please. Um, drop it in Definitely. any comments of our videos or if you're friends with us on Facebook or in the Australian Homes in Facebook group, yep. Put it on there too. Oh, God. Uh, Bushhead says, I feel YouTube isn't great for promoting Australian channels. You know what? I was just having a conversation about this today with Nissa uh, from Our Small Footprint, and I said to her, I, I think YouTube struggles with, um, like finding the right audiences for people that aren't in the US. Mm. Like the algorithm isn't really optimised mm. to find a non-US audience. Um, I mean, it's a US-based company. It's not that surprising. But, uh, it, yeah, it does mean we have to work a little bit harder. But I think the more Australian channels, especially in our niche, that kind of get out there and start, you know, going a little bit viral and getting yes. lots and lots of subs, I think... YouTube's going to go, ah, oh, like this is a specific subset. Let's find more people like that. So yeah, um, always, yeah. you know, always willing to give like a shout out and, a you know, subscribe to someone who's really taking off because, you know, rising tide lifts all ships, as they say. So, so, so yeah, we just got a uh, Kerry here has just put a, we will, oh, have, we will have a channel soon. Okay. I'm in the process of sorting it out myself. Well, Kerry, if your channel's got a name, put it in the comment yes. and we'll, we'll, Mention it. Yes. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> um, oh, Beautiful Life said, oh, Leslie, sorry. Leslie said the Facebook page was sorely needed for sure. It's amazing how many Aussies are homesteading and how many YouTube channels are actually out there. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, mentioning each other. I hope it helps. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Okay. So we've covered your where you're at. Yes. So you help covered my foot, covered some new subs. Thank you. Yeah, so we've thanked them and apologised for not actually taking care of you like how we should. But we're hoping that we we're hoping we might be able to change that. So yes, things mm. in the past six or seven weeks have been a bit um, like a bit sketchy. Like Corey has you know not been very mobile until just the last few weeks, really. I mean, struggling um, on the crutches, to be honest. The, the first few weeks on the crutches. I've yeah, been, I you know, and Corey not working. I've picked up some extra time at work, and then when I'm not at work, I'm doing all the homesteading stuff. All the inside and which outside Which, admittedly, stuff. you know, we don't have like masses and masses of animals, and like, thankfully, because the ones I need to take care of at the moment <laughs> are enough. Like with my <laughs> chunks of time, and then taking me. care and taking care of Corey. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't mind any of it, um, and I. I so grateful to be able to live this life, but um, it's just all the little things, you know. Like, you know, but by the time you go and feed a few animals and do a few little chores in the morning, you've probably walked two kilometers because everything's like so far, you know, so far away. And, and, and it's not, and we're not, our stuff isn't even that far away. Like, yeah. we've gone to effort, an effort to make it quite nearby, but um, oh, Gary, it'll be the chronic homestead. I've got my. Facebook page growing uh, from my old cake business, but transitioning to homestead and chronic illness stuff, which will including uh, which will include moving more towards YouTube. And you know, and there's a lot of people. I don't know, Kerry, are you? I can't um, remember. Are you in our Australian homesteaders group on Facebook? Um, you mu you must be. There's like it comes up quite a lot. Homesteading with a chronic illness. Um, what are the sort of modifications you might hey, Gabby. make on your homestead? And Corey and I have spoken about this before as well with this eye towards, um, you know, we're middle age, um, homesteading as like for, as we get older. 
I won't mention it. <laughs> As but, we but get younger. older, <laughs> I'm 45. So <laughs> I, I, don't care if people, I don't care if people are my age. Um, yeah, so homesteading as you get older and, yeah, look, we live in an agricultural region. There's heaps of, like, super old, super old, that's horrible, <laughs> you know, the old farmers that are still out there. <laughs> I didn't mean super old. If you're, like, an old farmer, <laughs> this episode, sorry. Can you just edit that bit out? This is problem with going live. You just say stupid stuff sometimes. Um, yeah, so like Good everybody goodness. knows the old farmer that's still going at it, but reality is it's you know, it is you can't do what you can do. And when Corey's when Corey's building stuff, I I always have to remind him, like, make sure you are building it, oh. allowing for like a lesser, like allow for my level of strength or even less. And <laughs> because at some point you're gonna lose strength. More, you're going to lose a bit of strength and, um, you know, capability. I mean, at the moment, you, you know, during this period of time, you've got lesser capability and, you know, and there's some stuff that I can't reach because Corey has like this much extra reach than me and it just doesn't <laughs> even occur to him that like my legs and my arms are shorter. <laughs> so, so it's like well, it's, something it's is awesome. so easy for him to reach. I'm like, I can't even touch that. Can you, like, let alone get a grip on it and, like, turn it or something like that? Yeah. Anyway, so back to back to you, Carrie. <laughs> okay, so obviously Corey is not the only one that goes off on tangents. But, oh, yeah. yeah. So you, go, go, you go with what Carrie oh, was saying? I, yeah, I was just saying, yeah, having something around homesteading with, like, a chronic illness is, I think, really timely and I think it's – you know, a question that a lot of Australians that are moving into this lifestyle as middle and um, elder Australians, mm. I think it's going to be increasingly important. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, Beautiful Life has just dropped a comment. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Um, I should change the name of it to <laughs> Old Codgers Homesteading. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. The future of the Sunday session chat. Oh, yeah. future, yeah, maybe a topic for a future oh, Sunday yeah, true. session. Yeah, mm. definitely. Okay, so Kerry's still suburban, um, hoping to get some bigger land one day, but uh, it'll come. Yeah, yeah. All, all, all in time, it'll, it'll get there. So, so you, you've been right. busy in the garden. I have. Wait, oh, hold more. that thought. Okay. I just, I just wanted to ask you guys. I'm just going to put it out there now, um, as like we're kind of Corey's getting more mobile. Um, I'll have a little bit more free time so we can do like a little bit more like editing and stuff. I do have a backlog of videos. Mm. We're kind of looking towards getting like a lot more consistent with our videos because we like we love watching YouTube we're and trying. we want to produce consistent um, content for you guys. Sometimes though you you feel a little bit like, uh, you know, what do, what do people want to see? Like do they... Do they even like watching us? Because making, I don't know. making People watch good us content and, is hard. Yeah, it takes. Yeah, it takes you the know? consistency. Takes effort, yeah. and sometimes Definitely. you just video Definitely. whatever's ha happening. But yeah. then um, it'd be good if we ha had a sense of, you know, maybe some stuff that you guys would like to see um, about, you know, our life or Rock Park Off Grid Homestead, or give us a sense of like what you do like about our channel so we can make sure that we're prioritising that for our audience, yeah. um, what you'll see coming out because Corey's not out there doing projects, being active, what you'll see uh, coming out over the next few weeks is some videos of me doing my uh, prep for my my food prep oh, and yes. meal preps yep. uh, for when like Corey was on the verge of going to surgery and I knew that I was going to be kind of flat out I didn't want to be spending like hours going, like driving to the shops and cooking food. So I did a whole bunch of meal prep into the freezer to make that whole process really much like a lot yeah. easier. So yeah. I've been kind of filming bits of that. It's not real. It's not a common thing we have on our channel. So I don't know how well it's going to be received, but that's what you're going to get. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So please guys, if, um, if you have any thoughts around like what you like, on our channel, like already that we get. And, and or, maybe what you don't like. Yeah, but don't dwell <laughs> on that. 
you know, maybe just private messages. Yeah, no. yeah I think Corey needs to shave more often or something, you know. Um, and if there's anything that, you know, that you'd like to see us do that maybe we just haven't thought of doing until you mention it, and then we're like, oh, yeah, yeah we can do that. So mm. uh, Kerry said she'd love food prep videos. Okay, oh, yeah. well, they're coming, so you're getting them. Yeah. <laughs> Pressure canning videos of oh, Aussie style Oh, hello from videos. the Netherlands. Is that, is that insane tuna? I think so. Is that got to do with fishing, insane tuna? Like, or Ooh, is that you're a fisher person. Or is that uh, like a something else that insane tuna sort of refers Pressure to? Pressure canning videos, Aussie style videos. Oh. Well, um, I, I still haven't used my pressure canner for the first time, so I will be doing a pressure canning video, but it will be like me using it for the first time. So um, it'll be... Interesting. I don't know. How I don't know how instructional it will be. We'll see. Oh, insane tuna. Long story. Long story. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, Bush, uh, Rach says I enjoy the variety of the stuff you do. Um, just and we can go out and show things on the property. Random mischief. Yeah. That's oh, insane mean. tuna. I had an RC plane that looked like an insane tuna. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, into my RC stuff too, cars and boats. So. Working on a jet boat at the moment. All right. So. Oh, my Aussie guard. Hey, how are you going? How are you going? You were, you were, you were off your channel for a little bit. It's good, good to see you. Good to see you back. Out and about and chatting. So thanks for jumping into our chat. All right. Nice. All right. So we, skip we did that. Skip, skip forward. So garlic. Is that what we. Yeah, you were. You were okay. You've been prepping the garlic bed the last few days. Um, well, the last few weeks. So we were originally intended in, in, in all your spare time. We were originally intended to plant on Easter, um, and I started prepping the bed like weeks before Easter. Yes, and it was just in chunks of time, like, and th there was like a video tape all that as well. So pulling out the old stuff, uh, packing in new compost stuff. Um, and then topping off with soil, and then I've got chickens that keep on burning in there, so I had to like find a like a way to like keep them off the bed. Oh, some wire. So yeah. six weeks later today, <laughs> finally planted the garlic. But you know, this is this is life at the moment, and that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, we're embracing kind of like the slow healing time this is for us. Yes, I have one job. It's really nice, like better. having him home all the you time. Know? Like he's like, yeah, one job. That's yeah. what we say. He's one, got job one job to get better. Um, yeah, so the garlic's in and we actually purchased two different types of garlic because our garlic last year w didn't turn out super great. Yeah, it had, didn't have a very good crop last year. Um, a bit of a bummer. And we wanted to start again with something like quite strong, not necessarily strong flavoured, but we we're about to find that out. Mm. But like a stronger line. So these are two like certified organic sources. One was Purple Stripe, which I think... Um, that's Rojo. Oh. So one is purple stripe, which I think is a type of Italian purple maybe. I don't know if you can see how well you can yeah. see this. But. So the colour of it, if you can find one to hold up, the colour of it is kind of like a blush pinky colour. I don't know how the light is like, like showing it. Not sure. But, yeah, so we got um, – these are actually leftovers that we didn't plant because these are like the smaller ones. Yeah, and they're still a decent size. So we'll, – <laughs> So we we'll use them. We we'll use them in the garden. I'm just throwing shit around everywhere. Oh. Um, and the other type was Rojo. Uh, Rojo. I'm trying not to spill it. So there we go. And they're they a gorgeous colour. So and Do you like the, the little bowls? The outer like paper on the heads of the Rojo was like a really white. And then I opened it up, and they there were these beautiful like purple colour cloves which was gorgeous um yeah so got got them in yep that's exciting got um put in, potatoes um, in uh, onions in 160 garlics yeah so 90 yeah 90 plus 70 yeah um yeah, yeah. So 160 good. garlics so that'd be good um yeah the color of the garlic's pretty cool it does it is so i'm going to cut one open and we're going to we're going to try it we're gonna try it. So which one right. are you which one are you doing? Um the the rojo. Okay. So I've got the Oh what what did you cook for dinner, Daz? 
Did it have garlic in it? Daz is a chef, so he <laughs> yes. always cooks awesome food. All right. All right. So so apparently, best way. I should have cut a like cut open one of the big ones. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> so apparently, because I had to Google this, actually Amanda did the best way to sort of get garlic flavour <laughs> is you get the garlic and you like give it a little scrape with the knife. It's a little bit hard to do up here without cutting myself. And you get the clear liquid on it and then you put your finger on it and give it a give it a go. Okay. What do you think? Whereas me, I'll probably do So that that had like an immediate like kind of spicy zing, but then it like mellowed out and it's quite sweet. All right, you have a taste. Oh, he just so that was a rojo. So zingy, but like, I mean, you probably get more heat now, like just eating. Yeah, no, it's got a bit of zing, a bit of heat at the end. That's quite nice. That is. You, are, you gonna, are you going to have garlic breath tonight? Oh, you're not going to be able to kiss me. No, you, you have, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Um, we'll save it for the morning. So we're now we're going to try the other one. What's the other one called? Purple Stripe. Purple Stripe. All right. So... Oh, yeah, look at that. You probably won't be able to see it that well because it's very small, but you get a lot of, uh, look at that. All right. Yeah, show them that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Can I see that one there? Ooh, there you go. So it's kind of like a bit of a bit of moisture paste type thing that you scrape off. I don't cut myself. I don't do that. Okay. All right. Don't bleed on the this floor. This is purple strap. Oh. Boom. Wow. Is that much stronger? Mm. Those are always oh, weird. Let's put hair on your chest. Like, so really strong to start with. Yeah. And then the zing kind of just fades. Okay. And now there's like a mellow taste. It's not as sweet as the as the rojo. All right. Notice the difference? Definitely. Mm. Wow. Hey, you huh. know, like garlic connoisseurs. Yeah, well, won't have to worry about vampires. No, really? shame. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> bushes, bushes, bushes. Like, I get it. Really. <coughs> we only got to do play to garlic today. Yeah, you and you guys. Yeah, you've been really busy lately as well. Uh, beautiful life, putting garlic two weeks ago. I think I prefer yes. the first one. The first, I think I prefer the first, the first one too. Yeah, the first garlic. Mm. So, I mean, knowing that the purple stripe has that extra, like, intensity and yeah. zing and it can. Yeah. It's good to know these things. Right? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so. Mm. Yeah, so the, oh, garlic, yeah. So um, Beautiful Life said put in garlic two weeks ago and it's already coming up. Oh, good. We, we were meant to plant two weeks ago. Um, but I have noticed that there was must have been some garlic cloves. Some left over. Yeah, left over from last year, and they're sprouting. So we definitely know it's time. Yeah. Um, and last year we didn't plant until like the end of May, which was way too late. And we knew it was way too late, but we just we just did it anyway. Yeah. Because we wanted to get garlic in the ground, in. which you know we still ended up with garlic, just not like the you know big. We want to so, sort of successively year after year grow. Like a really like big, strong, healthy garlic. Yeah, and then you keep the biggest bulbs, yeah, cloves, uh, like for the to plant the following year, and you use like the the dregs, I guess, the smaller ones. It's funny, isn't it? Like if you grow something big and decent, you don't eat it; you keep it for the next year to plant back in the ground. Kerry, you said you're trying to grow garlic for the third third time, and it's like the worst crop for you guys. Is it because you're not in the right climate, or whereabouts are you located? Um, oh, hi, Gabby. There's a lot of comments on there. There is. I'm working my way through them. Yeah. Um, so Insane, Insane Tuna said, I'd like to see you just do stuff that is not 100% correct so that we viewers can complain and say, no, no, you were doing it all wrong. <laughs> Go. Yep. <laughs> all right. We can do that. We, we can. <laughs> we can do that. No problem. <laughs> yeah, love growing garlic, but it takes so long. Yeah, the – but it's such like – it's such an easy crop. You don't, you barely have to do anything with it yeah. once it's growing. Yeah. Occasional.
them to water it. And we had garlic down at our local supermarket, I think it was last year, it was over $50 a kilo yeah. for garlic. It's like, are you yeah. kidding me? You know, it was so expensive. It yeah. was. Um, actually, in St. Tuna, I've actually got my next video planned. Uh, my wife got me a 19, I think it's 1979 chainsaw from the tip the other day, on, uh, last week, right? It's covered in cake. It, it's old, right? But it's all there. So my next video is going to be out in the shed on basically how to fend this chainsaw. Can we get it started? Let's like... And he it, legit check. has not like pulled it apart or tried to start it or anything. Yep. I just, I grabbed it, put it in the shed. I said, that will be yep. your project for a video. So stuff like that, we'll be able to set up Corey like on a table and he'll be able to do that before he's able to do like projects yeah. and stuff. So yep. so that'd be cool just to show people how to things to look for and to get like a an old engine running. I mean, judging by the dust on it, it probably hasn't been started for 20 years, I'd say. They don't need that. The cats it's come the, to visit it's us. The cat, the annoying cat. Oh, yeah, a couple of people are saying, yeah, straight in with the bite. Yeah, that's right. No, it was actually pretty good. The first one, definitely better. Yeah. It was. It was indeed. Um, and now... Have you guys done elephant garlic? No. Um, I've tried to buy elephant garlic for the past couple of years and at the same time that I've bought, like, my other garlic... But it's it goes really quickly. So I, if I tried hard enough, I could get some. Um, but it's also a crop that is um, it can be perennial. So I'd like to put it in a place where I can just leave it to because um, because you you it forms those big bulbs, but it forms like these little ones off the side, and those little ones. There's a name for them. Isn't it? You, they just get left in the ground and then then they re sprout because garlic is like a two year cycle crop, right? Um, that's why we plant like the the cloves that bulbed up on a head from like the year the before. The year before. So, um, Aussie gun. Uh, Daz said, "I wish I could taste it." Yeah, I'm really glad we did that taste. That was that was nice. I didn't expect so many so much difference between them. Oh, it was it was way different. So different. It was. Um, yeah, low maintenance. It's true. Yeah. So beautiful life said interesting experiment. We tried gardening Australia's YouTube channel said to soak the cloves in a mild seedweed solution overnight, then plant. So we okay. did that. We did a few that way, and they. Are only half the size of the of the ones we just banged in the ground, yep. no soaking. You know what? That is, if you've been in a garlic group or a gardening group, that soaking of garlic versus not so is like quite controversial. Um, so you'll see, like, if there's a thread talking about that, people are very passionate. Like, it's well, like those other. illegal canning recipes. <laughs> controversial <laughs> so um yeah we haven't tried that but i have seen i have seen that mentioned so it's interesting that you like got that um that like result mm. with your experiment actually so yeah, yeah. oh that uh dad oh. said he's he's always soaked his yeah. so in diluted fishy mulchin first D yeah. diluted yeah diluted yeah yep yeah. well like a 10 to 1 type mix with mm. water dad's just a rebel that's what's that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think we've caught up with all the comments. That's yep. great. No, we have. Um, There's a lot on there. Thank you for joining us in all the comments. Yeah, that's really great. appreciate you guys showing up. Um, oh, planning by the moon phases. I'd love to know more about that. I I really struggle for, to find books on that because they're either really like woo or they're. Um, or they're like overly complicated. So I just want something what does kind woo of mean? like woo woo. Like uh, I don't I don't know how to explain woo woo. <laughs> you know, like like the woo hand clan. No, not like the woo hand clan. <laughs> Can someone please explain <laughs> what I mean by woo? To like woo. like out like out there <laughs> like out there. Oh. Craig, oh, a, like cray cray. Well, I mean, but it's not it's not cray cray because like woo -woo. just because someone is woo doesn't mean they're like cray cray. Um, it just 
it doesn't explain <laughs> like it doesn't explain enough it's all kind of theoretical oh, and then okay. and like feeling but i just i need some practical practical knowledge but not stuff that's overly complicated okay you just want something like moon up plant now yeah well, yeah. i can tell you that. dad said um yeah, yeah. <laughs> dad said 10 to 1 yeah. 10 to 1 with the fish emulsion and water. For oh, pre- Gabby's got, you've got a chart on planting by the moon. Where did ah, you get that chart from? Okay. Hook me up. <laughs> uh, beautiful. I said I described woo as new age, like new agey oh, stuff. Our small footprint. <gasps> hey, Nessa. Hey, hey Nessa. Thanks for joining us. I got five kilos of elephant garlic off a lady recently and she still had a ton left. No, it can't be posted to WA. <laughs> no. Please don't do that. WA has, like, <laughs> some pretty, like, yeah. crazy restrictions to what you can post. Because if for like. some reason it actually makes it to me, then the person that receives it can get in trouble. That's just how it works. You might go to, like, Woo Jail. Go to Garlic Jail. Garlic Jail. <laughs> you have never heard of Woo in that context until now. Okay. Oh, there you go. Anyway, that's all right. right. So you're not the only one that no. doesn't understand. Yeah, maybe just, we'll, we'll just go with. Maybe I just made cray, up the fact cray, that it was cray, like cray. A, just, okay. <laughs> right, Have we covered everything that we're going to talk about? I think we have. Apart from one thing, uh, just quickly touch on this. Oh yeah. Uh, we've set up, not we, Amanda, because she's she's the setup girl, the paperwork yeah. girl. Uh, we set up buy me a coffee <laughs> for. Corey, because Corey drinks coffee, funnily enough. So, yep. With that, and he's not doing much else now. No, that's right. Apart from drinking coffee. Yeah, and it gets brought to me in the morning. <laughs> it does. You made your own coffee the other morning. I was so, oh, I what an I was so impressed. It, sounds it right. sounds, it, I, I don't know if that sounds ridiculous or not, but if you've ever, you know, injured yourself and you didn't have use of your arms. So my problem is my arms are legs. in crutches, right? I can't put, up until the other day, my left leg on the ground. So... I, I'm in crutches, um, the ones that come up just around your arms here. So try and carry a cup of coffee back, like, to the to the couch and sit down and drink it. It's very hard. So it takes me four stops. I've got the, this little table set up halfway. So I go from the bench to the counter to the table to the coffee table, and I do it all in stages. I, you know? I would do it for him, and I have been doing it for him, but... He like he yeah. wants to do it himself. Yeah, and just so things like like trying to do together. like trying to do some dishes standing on one leg, like it gets sore after a while. <laughs> like like your good leg. Yeah, you guys try to do dishes on one leg. And like it gets sore, <laughs> you know. Like it, it's awkward. <laughs> so I do have like this peg leg thing called an eye walk, which you basically bend your knee at ninety degrees and you strap it in, and it looks like a peg leg, like a pirate from the front. <laughs> Um, that is good because, like, you can put like full weight on it, but at the same time, I kind of lack it. I'm lacking in a coordination department, so I kind of look like a drunk bear with five legs trying to walk. <laughs> right? I'm like hanging on to stuff here and there, and like cats running, and the dozers looking at me going, Don't, 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 don't fall on me, fall on me. <laughs> you know. So, but once I'm kind of set up in position, I'm like good to go. But, yeah, uh, you're doing well. But yeah, really well. yeah. Um, so we got away from the buy me a coffee thing, but we okay. have set up buy me a coffee for Rock Pole. Um, I put I put a link to it in the description of our last video. So if you wanted to buy Corey a coffee, please do. I'll, I'll, I'll send her down the shop. <laughs> um, I think it, it's the first time we've ever kind of signed up for one of those things. So. We will completely forget to drop the link and promote it or mention it, I'm sure. But um, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. But it's out no there. Doubt. It's yep. out there in the yep. world. Good, good. Um, yeah, so thank you for um yeah, we'd really appreciate any ideas around or your thoughts around like videos you'd like Video to see. Yep. And thank you those of you that um mentioned like what you do like <laughs> seeing of us. Um <laughs> Are you wishes? I think I think one of those. I think they're called a foam dome. Rachel, isn't yeah. that like what Homer Simpson has? Like a hat, he puts his beer in it that and has a straw that comes dangerous. down. All right, so I think we should wrap up now. We've yep. taken up, um, you know, enough of your guys. We have. We've been on for about forty minutes now. So, so. it's uh, going to be a good one.
Yeah, yeah. Hawthorne. Or, evening, or Woolen. Evening over east now. They're two over hours two, ahead. Two hours, so it's twenty. It's twenty to seven. Is that right over there? Just about bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> Just about bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> well, I yeah. actually go to bed early. I wake up early, but <laughs> I go to bed early. Uh, we've yeah, got a nice slow, uh, nice curry in the slow cooker ready for dinner. Oh yeah, beef and pumpkin. Yes. Curry with one of our pumpkins, yes. So, so looking that's forward good. to that. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the recap. Uh, really enjoyed chatting with all you guys in the comments. Thank you again for showing up. Thank it's, you, Rach. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Insane and, uh, and we will. Miles of Gardens, Daz. We'll catch we will you up. Do better by you guys in the future. <laughs> enjoy. But we love you, regardless. Enjoy your Sunday evening, folks. <laughs> See you next time. See ya. <laughs> bye bye.